This time of year, we got a lot of fat biking, a lot of ice riding going on, and cold fingers are a big problem of mine. So I wanted to quick go through a couple of options. Your simple climb snowmobile gloves, non-heated. Probably the thickest, short of the mechanics. Heated gloves with the new Climate battery pack and electronic system. On down to some of my old trusty gloves I've been using for many years. The Fly Igniters and Igniter Pros as well as the lighter weight fly racing gloves. The mechanics gloves came nicely packaged. The box was showing off all the new technologies from Climate. It appears mechanics partnered with Climate for the technology. And these gloves came with the largest 3000 milliamp hour batteries. There's a small Bluetooth indicator on the outside of the gloves. This allows you to know when you slip the hand in that they actually turn on automatically. The bad news is the box is not reusable when you need to take the gloves somewhere. The battery packs did come in a small reusable case for the batteries and chargers. You can see it here in the back. However, that does leave the gloves flopping around and you need to throw them in another bag of sorts. The app connects automatically to the gloves as soon as the hand is inserted and you can adjust your desired temperature. Inside the app you can pick what type of use you plan on using it for, whether it's bicycle, motorcycle, other outdoor events, and you can change whether you're a person with cold hands, a person with normally hot hands, or you can adjust it to your liking from there. All the fly racing gloves come with a small lightweight pouch. This pouch has room for your batteries, chargers, and your gloves. When installing the battery in the igniters, it is actually on the top side of the glove. So you can install your battery, zip it in, and then turn the glove on from there. Each version of the fly glove actually places the battery in a little bit different place. As you can see here on the Igniter Pro, the battery pack actually inserts into the lower portion of the glove, but it really hasn't bothered me either way. They do fit a little tight on the wrist depending on what type of jacket you're wearing. The control logic is very similar. They do turn on in a little bit different fashion, but the Igniter and the Igniter Pro both use the same easy to use switch and you can also very easily use the buttons with your gloves on. As you can see here with the lightweight fly gloves, they actually have a smaller lightweight battery pack and a little bit different switch. You actually have to hold it to turn them on and then you can cycle through the different modes. So after the dust settled with a few years of riding, my favorite so far have been the Fly Racing Igniters. These gloves have seen some serious wear and tear, multiple three hour endurance races, and they've yet to fail me. The controls are actually super simple to use on top, the padding is adequate, the palm's not too thick, and they work great. Second place I'd give to the Igniter Pros. These are also great gloves, super simple to use, thin palms, leather so you can feel what you're doing. The Igniter Pro has a little bit less padding on the outside, so your hands do get a little chillier when it's really cold out. Uh, the knuckle protection is nice, but all in all, these are a great glove. I use these a lot. Mechanics Impact Gloves, with using them, as you can see it's hard to get my hand inside there. Tons of padding, great to keep you warm. The extra large battery pack is actually really good. The electronics, work remarkably well. However, for riding mountain bikes or riding motorcycles, there's just simply too much padding on the inside. I actually noticed some hand fatigue, some wrist fatigue, a lot of grip issues. Um, so I will not be using these for motorcycle riding or fat biking. Great gloves, extremely warm, large battery pack, but they're just not for riding. The thin weight fly racing gloves, over the years, these have just been too thin for me. So even in 30, 40 degree temperatures with the heating elements, my hands still get cold with these. So my fingers just don't like these gloves. Thanks for watching guys.
So after starting the video, I realized I didn't have a 2022 set of the new igniter gloves. There were some changes made to these guys so far that I can see. They added a touch sensitive pointer finger for your phones, smartphones. They added a finger hoop, which is actually really nice for getting the gloves on and off when your hands are sweaty, tight. I added a bit more leather protection on the outside. The insulation looks about the same. A few changes to the charging system. The charging cable is now a USB cable and a little power source. Batteries look about the same. We're actually heading out to go ride some ice today, so I'll let you know how the 2022 Flag Nighter gloves hold up. Thank you, sir.